Because he has some moves I don't even use ever, so whatever. Okay, where is HMXX? Transport the user through time to deal a devastating blow. That's kind of impressive, I'm not going to lie. Time travel just to, like, fuck other Pokemon up. It's pretty cool. I guess Regigigas can learn it, too. Uh, we're going to just teach to Wisharoo, though, because we might abandon Regigigas or put him in the box at some point. So, we're going to get rid of... Uh, I think we're actually going to get rid of Doom Desire. Oh, wait, no, we're not. Um, we're going to get rid of Trick Room because we never use Trick Room because most of our Pokemon are fast enough anyways that it doesn't matter. I forgot Trick Room. And I learned Tesseract. That's good. Got another powerful move for Wisharoo. Okay, so now that we've learned that, uh, I actually want to... We're not going to go right to the 5th Sigil Hall. I want to um, get a legendary, Pokemon, a legendary bird, so we need to go to the Safari Zone. The Safari Zone. Oi, trainer, this is the Safari Zone for just five... Actually, what's sad is that if I didn't go into the Wilson thing, I wouldn't have had enough money to actually go into this zone. You can increase the wild area areas of the Western region, eh? What do you say? Yes, that'll be 500, please. We only use a special kind of Pokeball here. Yay, Safari Balls. I love them so much. Okay, I'm gonna not listen to you and just keep going. Okay, so I have special directions on where to go. Let's not run into Pokemon. Okay. Well, now we should... If I'm knowing that... I don't know how the hell I would know to do this, but theoretically, this should be what I need to do. Yeah, okay. Here's the real question. How the fuck... I, lo I looked this up because I wanted to know how to do this. How the hell would anyone have known to do this? This is the most random thing humanly... Is it just like you tesseract and... Like people tesseracted in random areas until they found it? Or was it just that, uh... You know, maybe people were kind of crazy. And... Uh, it could be that developers let people know. But seriously, that does seem a little ridiculous. Uh, why is Pokemon is it deselected? Let's not deselect that. Uh, I do want to get off of this, so... Be awkward if Wishru died up here because then I wouldn't be able to get off. Even though it's probably only a five foot leap, but my guy's short, so that would kill him. Awesome. So now um, I need to follow these directions backwards so I don't lose, get lost. Uh, it's definitely down and southwest, south, east, south. Okay. Well, that's the only way to go. And north. There we go. We got what we wanted. Screw the safari zone. I'm sure there's other stuff in there. I don't... Okay, no. I, I'm i keeping them for myself. Okay, so now... Uh, no, I don't want to use another repel. I guess I was repelling in the safari zone, which is good, because I didn't run into random shit. Okay, so now we have a choice between three legendary Pokemon. We have... Shit, what are these? Um, we have Articuno, the ice one. We have Moltres, and we have... I kind of want the ice one, which I think is this one. The, the, oh, okay, good. That makes sense. Stone is freezing cold to the touch. Okay. No. So this is how we're gonna get these things. I don't know if we have to catch it. That'd be awkward. Oh, we could get a really good Thunder Pokemon actually. That might be cool. Let's just see what the third one is. I think it's Moltres, right? Yep. I think I'm going to get the Zapdos, but I don't know if it's Zapdos. It's an electric one. I think I'm going to get that one because really I don't need ice. I mean, ice is cool, but I'm too lazy to figure out what ice is. I kind of want to get electric Pokemon because we haven't found one the entire game. I guess we had that one legendary dude. He was okay. Um, but I'm thinking maybe we can get a legendary Zapdos bird. Um, actually, I'm not going to do that yet because I've learned my lesson. We're going to save because we just beat Wilson. We're going to do the triple paranoia save, as you have probably seen many times. And then we're going to go to, uh, I don't want to be stupid and get the wrong one, but I feel like they're all legendary. This one is our, uh, this one's probably really good though. Do I want the electric one or that guy? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Guys, this is difficult. This is a difficult choice. Because ice is good. Ice is definitely really good. You know what? I'm going to get the ice guy because I have a water guy. I don't have any ice guys. I have, what, what do I have? I have a water, I have a psychic. We might as well get a crazy ice guy, too. Yes, please. Touch the weatherstone to the carving. I don't know how the hell anyone would have figured out how to do this, but I did it. 
It disappeared. <gasps> the carbon began to move. Do I have to fight this thing now? Yes, I do. Level 75. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. This may be me killing this thing. Because Psychic's probably going to kill it. So we're going to go to Pokemon. And go to Pangea. Because he is the lowest leveled and hopefully won't kill this thing. Although, it might kill him. It used That just heals it, so I don't care about that. Although, that's going to be obnoxious because that means he's going to be able to heal himself. Uh, I'm going to use Giga Drain. Okay, this thing apparently has no good moves. So that's good to know. That did nothing at all. Uh, will any of these things do anything against him? I'm not really sure. Let's try uh, Crunch. I'm legitimately, at this point, convinced he has no moves that do anything. Because none of these moves are doing anything. Son of a bitch, Articuno. He's just gonna keep using Roost, isn't he? How many Roost... What is the PP for Roost? Let me check. Because we're gonna have to keep doing this until he stops using Roost. Uh, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna keep crunching him. I am hope... I mean... Okay, Roost, PP... It is 10. Unless he increased the PP with some shit, then it's more than that. Well, that sucks. Um, that sucks a lot. If only I had a Master Ball. So, I don't know. Um, this might even have to be another cutout thing. I don't know how, how difficult... Okay, he's gonna use... That's obnoxious. What I'm gonna do right now is switch to another Pokemon. And, um... See if something else can... Let's try Red Gigas. Let's see if we can hurt Articuno with, like, a lot so he keeps using Roost, but I don't kill him. Let's see. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. We're going to try Crush Grip, because that shouldn't kill him, hopefully. Although, he's going to keep raising his defense, so I don't think I'm going to kill him with this. Crush Grip, please don't kill him. No, it won't kill him at all. That barely even hurt him. Uh, how about Heavy Slam? This thing's probably pretty heavy, though. It's like a big ice bird. Ice is heavy, not going to lie, so... Probably not going to be the most effective thing ever. We'll see. Dun, dun. That is super effective. So we're going to keep using Heavy Slam. Because I guess Red Gigas... He is, like, made of metal. He's probably, like, 85 tons. So pretty much anything he does this against is going to get fucked up. Hopefully Articuno keeps using Roost. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 uh, see, now the problem is I'm going to kill him. We're going to use Crush Grip. Why would you use Blizzard? I'm clearly trying to kill you here. And you're supposed to use Roost until you run out of it. Well, I guess I didn't do anything, so Crush Grip. He's going to use Roost again. Does that heal him to full? No, it doesn't. Okay, we're fine. -na -na. -na -na. That was a critical. Okay. Or it would just did a lot of damage. Um, I guess it, it also does more when he's at higher health. Well, I'm out of PP for... I guess Red Gigas also has terrible PP for his moves. Uh, we're going to try one Ultra Ball. Will this work? Probably not, because he'll use Roost. Come on, Articuno. I believe in you. Pokemon, that didn't work. Seriously, it's really... I shouldn't have chosen this one, because he knows Roost. And that's obnoxious. I guess I'm going to use Heavy Slam. Hopefully this guy doesn't know a move that kills him. Don't kill him. God damn it, I just killed him, didn't I? Well... Okay, we will be... That is my background. And it's still my background. You've seen it before. Uh, this is going to be the end of where I show you guys this episode. Uh, when we come back, I will show you guys me catching Articuno. And then I'll actually probably just end the episode off. So it'll probably be a cut. Catching Articuno, I'll give him a, some kind of cheeky nickname or be really lame and it'll be terrible. And then um, we'll be done. So unless I get really frustrated, I'll see you guys in a second. And then we will be done. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll be back when I catch him. Bye. Hey guys, so I finally got uh, the Pokemon who may or may not have somehow changed his name, mainly because I got frustrated with the Articuno and then went, screw it, I want a Zapdos anyways, so I went and he got a Zapdos. Um, basically, one of the things I did here, let's uh, just go through it and then I'll show you. It is an electric Pokemon with a claw symbol, that's pretty cool. Um, ah, one point, you know, I kind of wanted a Pokemon with 1.7 meters of height, I guess, I mean, I can live with it, sort of, and this... Uh, screen is not properly sized at all, so there's going to be a little bit cut off at the top, um, just don't worry about that, that'll just be for a small segment right now, um, he's a legendary bird Pokemon, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, apparently it can do shit and it gets supercharged, um, sure, 
Let's just name him uh, Articuno, because that's Arduino. That's not what I want. Uh, we're going to name him Articuno, because that's who he was supposed to be, but then I got bored and went to Zapdos, and that worked. Um, so that took a long time, actually. That took a long time to catch, almost as long as uh, Reg Gigas. But uh, what I basically did to try to make it a little easier is I went to the attack box shop and I got... Here, I was totally in the right spot for it. Um, where is it? No, I don't remember where it is. It's somewhere. Ah, here we go. I got a sleep powder and a thunder wave. So basically what they do is they're one, one use per battle things. Um, and so sleep powder didn't really work, but basically I would use thunder wave and so... Wishiru, even though Wishiru doesn't know Thunder Wave, just uses one Thunder Wave, and so then Zapdos was paralyzed, I get it on a low health, and that made it a lot easier to catch, as opposed to just trying to get it blind, because I don't actually have any Electro Pokemon, or Pokemon that really give any sleep, or other ailment things, um, that would, you know, help me do the, the whole catchy-catch thing. Um, so yeah, there we go, now we have Zapdos, I think I'm actually gonna put him on my party, we're gonna make some tough decisions right now, uh, by going the wrong way, and then getting lost, and, uh, yeah. They'll just find my skeleton on the side of the road, all starved. And maybe I'll have eaten all my Pokemon, I don't know. I'm not sure how disturbing this uh, scenario is going to get yet. I don't think I've had talked to these people yet. Hey, I was one of the engineers that helped build this city. Oh yeah, I already did. This guy's the one who talks about future magnets. Yep. And he talks about how he's terrible at engineering. Uh, actually, I don't want this. No, go away. I was just talking to you because, you know, I'm lonely. I need companionship, and apparently I want to talk to the person who only says the same thing all the time. Um, hmm. We're gonna make some hard decisions right now. Uh, ready? We're gonna deposit... Regigigas. Now, I know we went through a lot of work for this guy. Um, that was just kind of fun. That was kind of like a side quest. He's okay. I don't really want him in the party, though. I would rather have... Not one of the legendaries, but I'd rather have, uh... Not deposit. What am I doing? I'd rather have Zapdos. Uh, I'd rather have an actual good elect... He's be he'd better be good. The, uh, the legendary electric Pokemon better be have a decent special defense, otherwise... Hey, it's Articuno. <laughs> that name's already messing with me. Uh, yeah, we got him. No, I actually want to see what uh, pressure does. I didn't even check what that was. What special powers does this Pokemon have? Uh, here we go. We got Articuno. Summary. He's got uh, no item. A little quick-tempered. Okay, you know, well, if you're a legendary Pokemon, it makes sense. The Pokemon races the foe's PP... Oh, I see. I thought that was he gave him more PP. So I guess he uses more PP. That's pretty cool, actually, because then their shit's going to run out of their good moves. So now we got level 75 Articuno, Oblivious, Pangea, Flightless, Seahorse, Wisharoo. Um, I think the next thing we might do is go to the uh, Delta Temple and hopefully raise our Pokemon's level a little bit. And then uh, what I do want to do, part of the Dental Temple, is that I would then be able to change Jirachi's type from Steel Psychic to Steel Fairy Psychic. I don't know if that's going to help, but I think that might actually make him a little less ineffective against things and maybe more effective against other things. Um, so that should be good. Uh, basically, because I know the screen is resized improperly, I'm going to uh, end this right here, and then when we come back in the next episode, we will be going to Delta Temple, uh, playing through that, you know, getting our Pokemon up some levels before we head to the Fifth Sigil Hall, and then uh, end this part of the game. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we have our new Articuno Zapdos hybrid. And uh, when we come back next time, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye! Boo, boo.